Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, here today to talk about the Tomorrow People episode uh, 15 right here, right now. And uh, yeah, this was a pretty interesting episode. Wasn't the best, okay? It wasn't the best one by far. But uh, we did get to see some new things. We got to see how Cora and John met for the first time. We got to see John come back to the layer. layer. We got to see our bi-weekly appearance of Astrid because she only makes an appearance every other episode. And uh, we also got to see uh, Julian meet his fate, all right? So Julian in this one has actually, they done something that I was not expecting him to do. He went to Ultra to actually seek his revenge against Kor. His He wants to get Kor so bad that he's willing to work with Ultra in order to accomplish this. I'm just like, man, dude, is it that serious? Kor, is that important to you that you would give up your freedom of life. I mean, even if the mission was successful, there's no way in hell they would let Julian just walk away. He's killed too many people, man. Uh, well, I don't know if he's killed people, but he has harmed too many. So Ultra is going to deal with him either way, and he'd be a fool not to see it. But one thing I did say that I liked about Julian, though, in this episode is that he saw through Steven's uh, bullshit, okay? Um, Steven. Steven has been slipping up at Ultra since day one. Okay, every mission this man goes on turns out to be a failure. That should raise some red flags right there about what's going on with Steven. And the writers have him getting like caught up in situations and, and like areas where he should not be at. And his like excuses that he be making while why he's there and what's he doing are not very convincing. He's been caught up numerous times. And I don't know why they keep on having him uh, get in these situations if they're not going to give him smart dialogue or to get his way out of it, okay? It's it's really obvious, plain as day to see. Julian saw right through that, and he didn't trust Steven from the get-go. I like that. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Uh, yeah, so I think they should get Steven out of uh, working with Ultra. That storyline's been played out, and uh, yeah, I don't like it. Steven always gets <laughs> caught in some dumb situations, man. Yeah, so they, we need to move on to that. Um, also, uh, the rekindling relationship between Cora and John felt a little bit forced, all right? Um, Cora, you know, I actually prefer her not in the leadership role. I actually prefer her by John's, like, second-in-command side because uh, the, the minute she took, a, took over this leadership role, she's been serious, like, all the time, straight off the go. Just, just mean-faced Cora, never laughing, never having any kind of fun. That's not a way to live, Cora, and you're going to have an early death because of it, all right? I like the old Cora. used to have fun, used to laugh, and have a good time, man. John can handle the leadership a lot better than Cora can because he used to, yeah, he was stern about certain things, but he, at least some things, put a smile on his face. Cora had a smile for a grip. So, yeah, they had a little kissing scene. I felt, I felt it was a little bit forced, but uh, you know, it is what it is. I like seeing Astrid again. You know, Astrid, she looked good as hell, too, man. That's one uh, nice looking sister, if I got to say so myself. Uh, but yeah, um, I understand where she's coming from. I'm surprised, like, realistically, her family should move the hell out of that area, man. I mean, you almost got killed by a kill squad. It's time to pack up, count your blessings, pack up and leave, all right? I wouldn't trust the word of anybody because Stephen's word has been uh, contradicted before. And it can happen again. The the, uh, the founder gets mad at Stephen or, you know, if the guy gets mad at Stephen for any reason, Stephen goes rogue or, you know, gets caught up. Then he may say, hey, I'm going after your friend again. Now, unless you turn yourself in, he could lose, use asterisks as leverage to actually control Stephen if uh, things really got that serious. So, yeah, they should get the hell out of town. But, you know, this is a TV show. The cast is not going to be rotating that much. All right, people. Um yeah, uh, we got some appearance from, um, wait, what was, well, back on Astrid though, I, uh, the fact that she's scared to go outside and all that stuff is very realistic, and uh, I thought it was very unique how uh, John actually uh, gave her like a shock therapy to uh, get her back into the world and everything like that, and I thought they were trying to like kindle a, like, a relationship between uh, Astrid and John because some of the stares they have into each other's eyes which is one second too long. So I thought they were trying to do something with that. But nah, by the end of the episode, we got uh, John and Cora. Uh, what do you call that? Disclose? What what, what the uh, robot dude say was? Um, well, they, they're busy. 
they're busy doing some things that are secretive. So, you know what that's all about. Um, so, uh, Charlotte in this episode, uh, she was really annoying to me, man. The, the girl who screams, she was just screaming my ears off, man. Uh, they need to let that girl do some more things out there. Because right now, she just looks... Uh, I mean, she's, I guess she's powerful because she has a high-pitched scream, but... I don't know. It feels a little cheap to me. That's just how I feel. Um, this episode, as you can tell by me, my my hypeness level was uh, wasn't all that to me. Okay, guys. Um, most of the time at the end, we get a pretty like like what the hell ending, like a a cliffhanger ending. And this time we did not get that. We well, we kind of did. They tried to throw that in there at the end with the device and Steve that Stephen's father used to use, but uh, no, nah. Don't really know what's going on with that, so it wasn't really like an eye opener like uh, last week when we found out that Jedekiah is hiding Roger, Stephen's father, in like a basement, cryogenic freestyle, crazy stuff right there. But yo, uh, that's all I gotta say about this episode. That's just some quick thoughts, uh, not really an in depth review like I normally do, but yeah, I just want to get these uh, ideas out there. Go ahead and give me your comments below. Tell me how you liked the episode and what did you think about it? And I'm pretty sure some people disagree with me. So uh, I want to hear that in the comments below. Don't be shy. I don't bite, but I do love receiving comments. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Peace out.